Hi everyone, this is crispy1001 at kpcoastup.com. This is our 25th video on how to use Blender and Blender 2 FSX add-on to make models for Flight Simulator 10. In this video, we're going to be working on animating the wheels. Um, I'm using the or a portion of the Jadel project that I uploaded for everyone. It, we're going to be using the left wheel or left landing gear so if you want to um, download it you can follow along with me so let's get started um, if you do have the um, Jadel project the first thing we need to do is go into it and you want to find the custom model depth because we need to take its code and paste it into our model depth file in the bin folder of our SDK so let's edit it. We want to select all the code. So let's go edit, select all, edit, copy. We then can close it. We need to navigate to our bin, I mean to our, our bin folder in the SDK. So if you did a default install of the SDK, it'll be under C drive, program files x86. Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 SDK, SDK, Environment Kit, Modeling SDK, and Bin Folder. And you'll see your model def file. Now you can see I've made copies of mine. Make sure you make copies of yours before you modify your model def file. Let's open it. We will scroll all the way down to the bottom and we will paste the code in. So now we have our right tire still. We have all the code we need for our um, animation and visibility for the wheels or for the project we're going to be working on. Now I will not go over the code for the um, animation for the um, tires or the rims because it's the very same thing basically as the um, prop blur and we went over it before but we will go over the tire um, still visibility and the tire blurt visibility so basically what it is <coughs> it is using um, the variable left wheel RPM using the unit of grads and it's checking to see if <coughs> the variable is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to the value we put in to tell if visibility is off or on. So under the tire still visibility <coughs> excuse me <coughs> It is taking the left wheel RPM. It's checking to see if it's 20 or greater. If it is 20 or greater, it sets the visibility for the tire still visibility to false. So it'll make it invisible. If it is not greater than 20 or equal to it, it sets it to 1, makes it visible. Now just the opposite, the tire blurred visibility takes the left wheel RPM again, units of grads, and it's checking to see if it is 20 or greater. If it is, it sets the tire blurred visibility to true, which turns it on. If it is not greater than 20 or equal to, it sets it to zero. So basically, it's just toggling these two on and off depending on the RPM of the wheel. So that just explains what the code is doing. So we can close this. Next thing we want to do is to open the Jadel Blender project. And we will need to go to the Blender folder, our file, or tab. And we need to initialize our tool set because we've changed our model dev file. If we do not do this, 
the new code will not be um, updated for the blender. So let's initialize our tool set. Then we're going to go to the left rim steel. I'm going to select it and we are going to start adding our animation for it. So you can see here I have typed in in the search bar L underscore tire which brings up our left tire blurred key for animation and our left tire still key for animation because this is our left rim still we're going to click on the left tire still key and we're going to assign it. If we go over it should update now for animation tag we have left tire still key length 0 to 100. Now we'll click on our left rim blurred. <coughs> you see nothing is set up for animation. We'll then click on left tire blurred key. We will then assign that. Now we have left tire blurred key with a length of 0 to 100. Now that sets up the animation. Now if we did this without doing anything with visibility, you're not go you're going to see both of them together and it'll look very distorted and blurred so now we need to go to the FSX attach point tool we want to click on visibility we then want to open up tag we'll want to scroll down to the bottom and we are on left rim blurred so we will want to check on tire blurred visibility we can see now it's there we can then attach and now you see attach point tag yes visibility tire blurred visibility so that one's set up we then go to our left rim still we'll click back on our, vis on our tag at the drop down and we will click on tire still visibility we will attach it so now we have attach point tag yes visibility tire still visibility so now we have everything set up for FSX to detect there's an animation and then set up the visibility so anima uh, the animations will run correctly for FSX. Now we need to set up and actually um, make the animation for the rims. So our left rim still basically does not rotate but we do need to have keyframe still for the length of 0 to 100. So on our 0 position we will add a rotation keyframe. So I and rotation. We'll then move our animation, posi animation position to 50. Now remember, you do need to have your start to 0, your ending leap to 100, because right now we're only working through 100. So make sure those are set up as well. Now we've moved our animation to 50. Now we need to rotate, oh no, we do no rotation, I'm sorry, because this is the steel wheel, but we need to add a keyframe, so I, rotation keyframe, let's go to 100, and add a rotation keyframe. So that takes care of the left rim still. Now let's move our animation back to zero. Let's change to the left rim blurred. We need a starting position for this location for this object. As you can see, there's no coloring here, no yellow, so we can hit I and rotation. Now we want to move to 50. We're going to rotate on the x-axis 180 degrees and then I for rotation. So we have our keyframe there. We're going to set our animation to 100. We're going to do rotate again. 
on the x-axis another 180 degrees and add another rotation keyframe. Let's put our animation back to zero. And that does it. Now if we hit play and let's turn off the still visibility for the object because when this one's animating in FSX you won't see the other one. Let's hit play. I did the animation in the wrong direction. So let's fix that. So let's go to 100. Let's go Alt I, delete keyframe. Let's go 50. Let's do Alt I to delete the keyframe. And go to 0. Now, 0 we do not need to do anything with because it's already at its starting position. So let's go now back to 50. Let's rotate on the x-axis a minus 180 degrees. Enter. And add a keyframe for rotation. Let's move to 100 on our animation. Let's hit rotate x minus 180 and enter. Add a rotation keyframe. Let's go back to zero. And let's check it again. Now it is rotating in the right direction. So we can put it back to zero. Now remember, you have to check that when you do the others, other wheel as well, that you're rotating in the correct um, direction. That's basically all it is to animating your um, wheels, I mean your wheels or tires in FSX. Now, if you were doing a full project, you would then go ahead and go File, Save, and you do File, Export, DirectX, go wherever you're going to save it, make sure you have Model selected, and Export. So I hope this helps everyone. And thanks for watching my videos. Have a nice day.